he who believes in him is not condemned. But he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the commandment that I, that, that the light has come into the world. You see, he came alive. What is the light that he's talking about? We were blindfolded. We couldn't see our way in life. We needed somebody to take us by the hands and to lead us into a world full of darkness and sorrow. That's what my God came for, for this man here today, that I am up in my 65, and I still love him, and I praise his name, and he's giving me the strength every day to work. I work with young men of 20 years old, and I can still do what they do with no problem. Why? Because God is giving me strength each day to meet my very task. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will never abandon you. It's in his promise. He signed the covenant with his blood at Calvary. I know the feeling of fear and fighting and squabbling over money and poverty. I came from that kind of family. I came from a family all kinds of disorder. But you know what? I thank God for the family that I came out of it because it taught me things that I needed to know. It taught me love. It taught me compassion. It taught me to understand other people. How can we understand someone else if we never been down the road? It's out from the wounding of our heart that we can minister fruit to others. Today, it is the day of salvation for North America. Today, God is knocking on every door. God is looking for anybody that will say, come to me. He died for me. I was ungodly. He died for this man here that knew not him, that my every day was living ungodly because I did not know his words and his love and the principle of the Bible and his commandment. I don't care how good we are. Man will not put his life on the altar of death to save his brother. Jesus did. The only father came to the earth in the body of flesh and he did it for us. This is what the scripture said. But God demonstrated his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the anger to come. When I accepted Jesus to my, for my Lord and Savior, all whatsoever that I had done in my past, all the corruption, all the deception, all the ungodliness that occurred was wiped out with the atoning blood of Jesus. He took my past and he wiped it away from me. He erased everything wrong that I had done and all that he requires of me, that I humble myself before him. If my people, which I call by my name, would humble themselves, seek my face, turn away from their wicked way, that means to repent. He says, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. Why? Because the thing that separates us from the blessing of God is the sin that we live in it. The ungodliness keeps us away from God. To repent is to walk away totally from what we have ever done in our life. And then the love and the signs <coughs> and wonders comes to our life. After I was saved, I can testify the things that God has done for me. I was married. We were in the ministry, my wife and I. And we ran out of food. We ran out of, of fuel into our, our furnace. It was the middle of the winter. I had a little boy after three years of being married. My son John was nine months old. 
My wife and I, we knelt beside our bed, one on each side of the bed, and we reached over and we grabbed our hands and we both, both prayed. I prayed, Father, if there be any sin in my life, if there be anything there, forgive me. But my little boy has not sinned. And I see that his last baby bottle of food, and he's going to start, and we're going to freeze. So now, Lord, you call us to the ministry, you provide. Around 10 o'clock in the morning, a lumberjack in the middle of the forest was trying to start his chainsaw. And the Spirit of God spoke to him from a treetop. And he says, Armand, go to the town, buy baby food for Real and Sharon's baby. Buy everything that you will see. He went to the store. He bought all kinds of baby food. He came to my house weeping. He knocked at my door. He said, the Holy Spirit told me to buy baby food. And I was coming in, and I took all the baby food, and I was rejoicing because God had made a miracle. He left the house, a farmer 50 miles away, another direction. He was on his way to milk his cows in the morning. And the Holy Spirit spoke to him, go to Real and Sharon's house. They need oil and they need food. He came to my house. He said, I, I am Melvin Beatty. He introduced it himself. I didn't know then. He walked in, he said, it's cold in here. I said, yes, brother, we don't have oil. He grabbed the phone, he called the oil company. He told them to come and fill my tank, and they knew him. And then he said, how would you like to go grocery shopping? I went grocery shopping. He filled two big carts full of grocery. I thought that was for him. I was not going to ask him for food when he had filled my tank. He drove me back home. He said, this is for you as well. The Holy Spirit told me to give you that. He brought the food in. He put his hand in his pocket. He gave me $500 in cash. That is the living God that I serve. This is the God that comes good for his people. This is the God that will never leave you, never forsake you. He will never come against his word. I took sick with a heart attack when I was 55 years old. I ended up in the Ottawa hospital. They were going to put me to surgery on Friday morning at nine o'clock. I asked the nurse, do you have a Bible here? She brought me a Bible. I start to read, by my stripes you are healed. Amen. God, it is your promise. At two o'clock in the morning, an angel appeared in my room. He spoke to me. He said, the Heavenly Father sent me to pray for you. And he put his hand on my chest. And this is the prayer that he prayed and I never forgot. Father, you have made yourself a body of flesh. You came to the earth. You died on the cross. And with your blood, your son, a covenant. By my stripes, you are healed. Now, Lord, heal this man. I was totally healed. He came in my room at 7 o'clock in the morning to dress me up with those white socks to get me ready of everything. At 7 o'clock when they came in, I said to the doctor and the nurse, I'm healed, I'm going home. He said, no, we're going to have to take you to the extreme room. They put a camera down in the joint of my leg. They went up to every vein in my heart. The doctor laughed. He said, your veins are wide open. We can pass a half-ton truck and go home. This is the God that I serve, the God that cares and loves you. Listen, folks, I was once a sinner. I was one, a man miserable, full of heartaches, full of pain from my childhood. I was abused by a man that came into my home. At seven years old, he beat me all over my face with a stick because he was flirting with my mother, and he thought I had told my father. Do you think that I grew up not hating a man? I vowed I was going to kill him. But at 18 years old, he died with cancer. I went into his room. I said, Joe, if you are not dying with cancer today, I'll kill you with my fist. That's the kind of man I was before my Jesus came into my life, before he changed me completely on the inside. 